Howdy folks! Today I want to show you my uh, size 26 uh, solution to the Prime Factory puzzle that's number 40 on Human Resource Machine. Um, now this is Prime Factoring. Uh, what you want to do when you're factoring is you're taking out all the numbers that multiply into whatever number to, to create whatever number you, you've got. Uh, so for example, for 20 the, you can factor it into 10 and 2. Um, now you notice that 10 is also um, composed of smaller numbers, so 10 can be factored further. So if you factor uh, 20 all the way out, you get 2 and 2 and 5. Um, and so that's what the prime factors are, is when you factor, 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 till you can't factor, factor no more. And those um, are what we're looking for in this program. It wants the prime factors in the order from smallest to largest. Uh, and so as you're already familiar with, the way to figure out if a number divides is you do repeated subtraction in this uh, instruction set. So um, what you want to do is you want to start with 2 since you need to get the lowest to the, to the highest. So we will take a look at our program here, our 26 step program. And uh, what we do here is uh, for each, each time we pull in a new number, we're going to zero out our factor. This is going to be our number that we divide by. So we zero it out and bump it up to 2. Okay, now we pull in our number from the inbox and we hold it over here in our holding spot. Okay, now for each candidate factor, which is going to be up here, uh, we're going to do a, um, we're going to bring in our number to our temporary spot here so that we can subtract over and over. And we are going to copy uh, from zero to our count, so we're going to zero out our count. Now we're initialized and we can start dividing. So we are going to keep a counter here so that we know how many times we divided. Uh, and so we're going to do that. We're going to subtract our factor and copy it back in and we're going to check. Now when you do this you get one of three results. You're either going to be positive which means you keep going um, because it's not going to meet these two conditions so that's where our jump is here it's going to be negative which means uh, this number is not a factor in that case um, since we're starting with 2 2 is not a factor you want to go up to the next number and start over again so we're just going to bump up our number and go back and all of our initialization is up here which is where we have saved all the extra instructions um, and so that's the only thing you need to do when you get a not a factor now if the number equals 0 that's where uh, it divides evenly and our count comes into play. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to outbox that as a factor and we're also going to take our count. Now say we had 10 and we were subtracting 2 over and over we would have done it 5 times. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we've pulled the 2 out so we need to take the other divisor and uh, the other factor basically and put it over here. So whatever's left is going to be put back over into there. Um, and so we're doing that with these two steps. The last step is a bump on our counter because if our count is a 1, that means that whatever number was here uh, basically went into the factor once. So if it matched, it's the same number. So it's basically the last prime factor is going to be divided by itself eventually and come up with a 1 when it hits 0. So that's what this is doing. This is detecting that we've actually completed our task. We found the last prime factor and this is going to jump us all the way back up to the top. So we will let this run so that you can see it execute. And actually we got kind of lucky because we got some small numbers here. So this should actually go rather quickly. Um, but uh, <laughs> we'll probably run another set of numbers because this thing runs like really horribly slowly um, and you'll see the numbers on it too when it completes but um, yeah those are all every factor was two so yeah we'll run it again so you can get a little bit better view of it going so we did get the size challenge so we got that going for us which is nice 
and the speed challenge as you can see is horrible so we will go back and let's see some it's it's given us the same one let's see if uh, we can get some better numbers here okay so now you'll see with the 15 especially what's going to happen here is it's going to go through these factors one at a time and it's going to do two and then it's going to three and then it's going to do four well you know four you're not going to have a factor of four because you already got the twos out um, and so it's basically wasting its time going through every single number um, and there's no real way to to get it to not do that with this this small amount of instructions um, because basically you have to figure out all the prime numbers in order to do that or several of them at least and you know prime numbers are an anti-pattern so it's not like you can just you know make something simple to tease them all out um, so basically this is going to run through all of those and that's why it takes so many instructions so obviously when you're not concerned about the number of constructions instructions the obvious solution is going to be up here to optimize for speed so that's what we'll look at in my next video so there is the size challenge 26 instructions um, if you've got anything smaller I'd love to see it but uh, there you go and uh, be sure to check out my other videos on the speed challenges I have two of those uh, so have fun playing the game and we'll see you later. So here are the solutions if you want to look at them real quick. And that's the wrong one. So we'll start over. <laughs> Howdy folks. Her, der, der. <laughs>